Oh, for the moment we know that the standard of care for the treatment of muscle invasive bladder cancer is a neoadjuvant chemotherapy plus radical cystectomy. But there is nothing about the non-muscle invasive bladder cancer, but it's a new frontier in this sense because we have a huge population with uh, an MIBC. You have to consider that uh, about uh, 75, 85 percent of primary bladder cancer are superficial, are non-muscle invasive bladder cancer and most of them without any therapy, I thought the primary treatment is a transurethral resection of the lesion, without any therapy they progress to grade and stage so may become muscle invasive. So oh, to have a a further opportunity by intravesical non-invasive or minimally invasive neoadjuvant treatment for those patients could be offered them a new opportunity to improve the outcome which means to reduce the recurrence rates the, to reduce the rate of grade and stage progression to muscle invasive blood cancer but the study uh, go over those uh, uh, aims because we would like to select better patients to receive mitomycin C. So we would like to offer a personalized medicine to patients with this uh, disease and uh, we would like to go ahead by a correlation. The study we are going to present uh, and we presented the study design in this uh, uh, meeting, uh, which is a randomized controlled trials, clearly. And uh, in this study, we try to focus on secondary outcomes, uh, such as the correlation, of, for instance, with microbiota. In a previous study, we found that microbiota, the urine microbiota, not the gut microbiota, may correlate with the grade stage of, of bladder cancer. And it's a very, very interesting approach. The, the design is very easy, it's a, an easy study because we, um, we randomize patients to receive two installations of mitomycin C before the transurethral resection or the control group we receive the standard of care. The reason why uh, we decide to use only two installations at day minus 14 and day minus 7 uh, was based on experimental uh, um, findings in which we found that uh, a not prolonged expression may help in inducing immunocell death. And because in literature we found, for instance, a long um, exposure to neoadjuvant mitomycin C, for instance, in a study of different authors, they use, for instance, six uh, installations before the transferritory resection. But we think that the longer, the long exposure is not so good to uh, uh, to have an immunocell death, to induce an immunocell death by the release of specific signals.